Today I also got this uh, FPGA module. It contains an uh, Spartan 6 the FPGA, some SD RAM and the Cypress microcontroller. It is possible to program this FPGA using USB and uh, the Citex firmware. The Citex is the provider of this board. But it is also uh, possible to save and store the configuration on this SD card. It is also possible to use the SD card connected to the FPGA for storing other kind of data. And this then uh, it connects to this uh, yeah, expansion board for easy connection to a breadboard. I'll have to sol uh, solder some uh, pins in uh, these rows on each side. And then I can plug it into a breadboard. So this connects on this, but I can use this as a regular th thing if I make another board for it, as it just connects into some pins. Um, almost every pin of the FPGA is brought out here on these female pin headers. Um, and 8 of them, are 8 of 16 of them are connected to the Cypress uh, microcontroller. So if you want to do UART or uh, just FIFO handling, the Cypress microcontroller can take care of that and communicate with the FPGA if you make some kind of communication between those. It is possible to program this Cypress microcontroller using their SDK too. So you can make your own um, kind of programs both for the FPGA and for the Cypress microcontroller. The great thing about this board as I told you before, is the connections between the Cypress microcontroller and the FPGA. My idea is to make some kind of VGA or HDMI controller inside the FPGA using the SDRAM as some kind of yeah frame buffer. And then using the Cypress microcontroller I could make some kind of game inside that using the connection to the FPGA and using that as uh, a display controller for VGA or HDMI. So this is kind of endless possibilities and it doesn't even have to connect this FPGA to anything else uh, like another microcontroller uh, which was my idea to use the STM32 32-bit micro uh, processor, the ARM Cortex-M3. But now I'll I think I'll try to use this Cypress and see what it can do. What it can do. So for now, uh, I'll have to solder some pins in these uh, rows, and then plug it into the breadboard and uh, test it. I've now soldered some pins to the rows. So uh, let's see what happens when I uh, power it up by plugging in uh, a power supply. Okay, at power up we notice the done LED, it lights up. It means that the FPGA isn't configured. So now let's try plugging in this USB port. At first, when you plug it into the computer, you need to show the drivers, uh, to specify the drivers. And afterwards, you uh, can upload the bootloader to the Cypress microcontroller. And afterwards, it's possible to upload uh, a bit file for the FPGA. So uh, I've already uploaded the bootloader to uh, to the Cypress. So uh, let's try to upload a LED blink demo to the FPGA itself. I do this by writing, uh, calling the firmware loader. It's a Yada file uh, with the bit file as a parameter. So I press enter and FPGA configuration time and then now it's configured. And we can see that on the LEDs as they started to blink. I can also run a command to reset the FPGA Please also notice that the done LED has turned off because the FPGA is now programmed. But if I write 
as a parameter RF which means reset FPGA you'll see that the done LED turns on again and the LED stop blinking this was a short review of the Celex Spartan 6 FPGA board and uh, in total it's a very nice design board with some good uh, details and uh, functions it's a great thing that every almost every pin has been brought out so uh, now I'll try some uh, other things with this board for example running the uh, Lattice Miko 32-bit microprocessor so uh, thank you TKJ Production.